Hello, my name is Jeremy Akers, Jeremy Nathaniel Akers, and I want to talk to you about the surprising power of liberating structures and why I believe every DAO needs to be using liberating structures. Only, of course, if you're trying to reinvent human to human coordination, um, you know, if you're trying to decentralize agency and distribute decision making and authority, then liberating structures are powerful tools for distributed cognition and shared thinking. Now, why do they matter? Because meetings, think about how much time you spend in meetings. You know, think about how you feel about the time you spend in meetings. Does that feel awesome? Or does that make you feel like you want to kill yourself? If you want to kill yourself, then you're in meeting hell that is automatic process. You probably just show up to meetings, you do whatever you do, you get whatever you get, and that doesn't feel particularly awesome. Now, on the flip side, you'll find that meetings improve significantly when you just start to have an agenda. When you start keeping track of the topics or the items that you want to treat in that agenda, it improves the probability that you can get to them no matter what or that you can address them successfully. Now, even if you're using an agenda, good on you, chances are you're probably still using the five Stone Age tools um, for meetings that are how we address our attention and shared uh, cognitive space. And those are presentation, status report, managed discussion, themed brainstorm, and open discussion. As a matter of fact, not only do you probably not think about which one of these tools you're going to use, you probably just take open discussion and you jam it in everywhere, regardless of the fact that you already know that topic A and topic D have nothing to do with each other and are very different pieces of subject matter that should probably be dealt with differently. So liberating structures, on the other hand, are going to offer you a toolkit of 33 different patterns for shared thinking. That way you can go, hey, for agenda item A, maybe pattern four would help us get there. For agenda item D, since that's so much different, maybe agenda, maybe pattern 29 is the most appropriate tool to get there. What this does is help create a distributed metacognition. Um, if you don't know what that means, it's good. We call it process mindfulness and liberating structures. Um, liberating structures is a big scene. It's been around for about 10 years. There's like 10,000 participants, 200 different user groups, a lot of places that you can practice and find all of this information on the website at liberatingstructures.com. Rather than talk to you some more about liberating structures and about the project that I'm engaged in, I'm just going to help you learn one of the patterns because that's the most essential thing about it, about this whole project, is to help everyone learn and use liberating structures. So let's take this guy right here, one, two, four, all, the bread and butter that is liberating structures. In response to that agenda item, say B, you know, I would give you a minute or so to think about your own thoughts, to just gather your thinking. I would invite you to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation in a pair, um, sharing and trading those thoughts. I would then invite your, you and your partner to cross-pollinate with another pair and have a small group discussion trading ideas and insight and seeing what jumps out at you. And then after all of that, I would invite you to take the most salient piece of information, the most relevant or insightful thing from your group discussion, and upregulate that to the entire group into the all space. If you take a typical hour-long meeting and you just chop it up into one, two, four all, say four times in a row, um, rather than go around and do your talky circle thing for an hour, you will increase the throughput of information dramatically. Um, and just see how it feels and whether or not you're able to successfully address your agenda items better or worse. Um, I can personally not imagine a greater public good than helping everyone in the world learn, practice, and use these tools for distributed cognition and shared thinking. My name is Jeremy Akers, Jeremy Nathaniel Akers, and I will see you in the future.